Don't fuck up now. It's on video. Nice job. Nice job. The big differences between sporting rigs and military rigs are sporting rigs are smaller, lighter, and more aerodynamic, as well as their canopies to help accommodate speed and maneuvers. Military rigs and canopies are larger, heavier, and are made to accommodate larger loads like rucksacks and weapon systems. The major difference comes from how you deploy the pilot chute. Sporting rigs are done manually by hand and military rigs are deployed by a rip cord that releases a spring-loaded pilot chute. Similar features incorporated are AADs like the Cypress 2 that measure your fall rate. If at a certain altitude you're still in free fall and your main canopy isn't deployed, the device will cut away deploying your reserve. Both use a reserve static line or RSL as well as a three ring system developed by Bill Booth. My AFF or accelerated free fall jumps were pretty fun. I don't think I ever hesitated or second guessed myself and the staff there were very thorough to the point where you take it seriously and safely but still cool and laid back where you really enjoy yourself. I mean it's kind of hard to get nervous when you see 18 year old girls at the drop zone getting their skydiving licenses. I had to do some proficiency jumps to show that I could maintain a heading with bulky gear on. Two of the big concerns that Jeremy emphasized to me was to make sure that I could locate the rip cord. That's why I do three practice pulls on every jump because when I have the O2 on, a lot of guys tend to grab their oxygen line and pull it instead of their rip cord. The other procedure he wanted me to do was clear the burble from my pilot chute. Now the burble is the air directly behind you in free fall. You can kind of think of it as drafting in NASCAR. That little area isn't getting the drag that it needs to pull the pilot chute up. Now this is dangerous because it can get caught on cameras, MVGs, or even body parts. So I really went for the check on my second halo jump. The winds were extremely gnarly and my camera actually got jacked up during the first halo jump so we had to shoot a second one to be able to get enough footage for the video. Given the right motivation from y'all in the comments and on my Facebook and Twitter, I might start working on some formation stuff with some other guys to do a halo jump at night and maybe a halo wingsuit video. 
might want to have a shutter on that, my eyes are, it's cool. As cool as your cheek getting squished. <laughs> <laughs>